This video will show you how to record and edit your voiceovers in Cakewalk BandLab. Upon launching the program, go to the top left corner of the splash window. Under Let's Get Started, click New Project and select Basic.CWT. You'll see two tracks. Track 1 is for audio and track 2 is for MIDI. You can disregard the MIDI track because we'll only use audio tracks for the voiceovers. You can either minimize the MIDI track or right-click on the MIDI track and click Delete Track. To configure the microphone input, go to the Edit menu, Preferences, Devices. You'll see on the right side that says Input Devices. I am selecting Analog 1 plus 2 for my audio interface. Then go to the left menu, Playback and Recording, just to check if the driver mode is on MME 32-bit. Click Apply, then Close. To select a microphone input, go to the bottom left where you can see In slash Out. Click the drop-down menu that says None. Click MME Devices and you'll have three options for your microphone, left, right, or stereo. Let's learn how to process your voice over recordings. In this sample file, VO underscore template, there are five tracks with preset effects on each individual track. Let's try to click track 1 labeled Narration. Click Show or Hide Pro Channel on the track inspector to see the FX chain. It has a sonitus gate which has a standard noise gate and a threshold of minus 60 decibels. Sonitus multiband that has a preset of female rock vocals. HF exciter that has a bright acoustics preset and a sonitus compressor that has vocals GR 4 to 10 decibels, threshold of minus 6 decibels, ratio of 3.0 to 1, and a vintage type. FX chains can be added by right-clicking here, insert audio FX, and by choosing from the list. To hide the FX chain, just go back to Show or Hide Pro Channel. To process your raw recording, all you have to do is to split and drag the audio to its corresponding track, whether it is narration, a transition from narration to quotation, quotation, name for emphasis, and your ending. For example, I am going to add a new track for my raw recording. Right-click on this area Insert Audit Track or Control plus T. Click this red circle icon to turn on the record function and press this to start recording. And now, the moment that we all have been waiting for has come. Brace yourselves for the moment that we all have been waiting for. Right click on this area and select Convert to Mono. This goes to the narration track. There you go, just drag it there. Click here, press S to split the audio clip. Click on this portion, Control X. Click on the transition track, Control V to paste. Then, the word moment will be the emphasis, so I'm going to split this audio clip, press S, click here, Control X, click on the name track somewhere here, Control V to paste. Then, I will use the quotation track as a sort of pre-ending. Select. Split, select this clip, Control X or cut, 
select the quotation track, control V or paste. And then waiting for, waiting for, I'll split this area, press S, click this clip, control X to cut. Go to the ending track and paste. Let's minimize all the tracks and let's listen. And now, the moment that we all have been waiting for has come. Brace yourselves for the moment that we all have been waiting for. Pay particular attention to the tail of the ending track, where the level of the audio goes down to zero. It goes and stops to about nine. Over here. Once we're satisfied with the result, Control A to select all. Make sure all tracks are unmuted. So if we want to go to nine, we go to select and just select through number 9 go to file export audio channel format stereo sample rate 48000 bit 32 and make sure the checkboxes are the same type the file name and click export 